What's up, people? Let your girl Adiola. Have you heard about a $25 billion contract scandal at NNPC? For the... Where do I even start? I don't even... Okay. The first issue is that Buhari made himself the Minister of Petroleum in 2015 when he became president. Mm -mm -mm. You should not be president and the minister at the same time. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Amen. Can you be president and minister at the same time? Uh -uh. You can't be the only one that can do the job. So when he appointed Ibe Kachuku as the Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, a lot of people were like, oh, he just put this man there like a figurehead. But I would not let him have complete control. No, be me talk, I'm this are Nigerians, you know, big mouth. They like to talk. In any case, Buhari made this man the Minister of State for Petroleum and the Group Managing Director of NNPC. But last year, Buhari removed him as the Group Managing Director and he replaced them with Mekanti. Baru. Keep in mind, Baru has been working at NNPC for a long time. So, the problem now is that when Baru became the managing director of NNPC, he allegedly started sidelining Kachuku. Even though Kachuku is still the Minister of State for Petroleum and the chairman of the board of NNPC. So, in August of this year, Kachuku wrote a seven page letter to Mr. President saying that all the reformations that he did when he was at NNPC had been eroded by Baru. He said Baru has made several appointments without letting him, the or guy at the top without letting him know about it or letting the board members know about it. According to Kachuku, he said he would just see in the news that so so person has been appointed though, without him knowing about it before that. And then Kachuku said that Baru has awarded several contracts worth billions of dollars without letting him or the board members know about it. I was like, stop right there. Stop. Ah, hey, hey, stop right there. This are big, big contracts. How can you see me the whole for that? Billions of dollars. Where is my glasses? and my calculator somebody oh father we must to calculate say so you understand what are we looking at 10 billion 10 billion dollars for that so you see that uh, 5 billion plus 5 billion uh, plus 3 billion and another 3 billion and ah uh, how much is that hey 25 billion dollars for that why is it that nigerians talk about billions of dollars as if it is chicken change <laughs> to develop Nigeria is right there. Don't you think so? $25 billion. Keep in mind, by the way, that there are reports that some cabal in Buhari's administration have been named as beneficiaries of some of these contracts. Hey, Nigerians, you better wake up. You better wake up. So, Kachiku said that he wrote Baru several times that he and the board have to know about appointments before they will be made and that he needs to know about contracts that have been awarded, that Baru ignored his letter. And that each time he asked Baru physically, Baru would say, well, he already discussed the issue with the president. Ooh, father, father. So, when the letter leaked, Baru said Kachuku was lying. I was like, okay, these are two grown men calling each other liars. He said he tells him before a warning contract. But, but Baru added something very important. He said he's actually not obligated to tell Kachuku about a warning contract that he's only obligated to tell the president. I was like, ooh, no, he did not. He said it's important to know that the law and the rules do not require a review or discussion with the minister of state or the nmpc board on contractual matters i'm like say what father father my dear are you saying what i'm saying why do they have board members you know why do they have board members if they didn't need to know and why do they have that minister of state for petroleum if he would not be allowed to have a say in awarding contract <laughs> something smells fishy and then the man said what is required is the processing and approval of contracts by the nnpc tenders board by that he said he meant the president in his executive capacity or as the minister of petroleum don't forget that the president is also the minister of petroleum so you understand so the man is saying that so long as he tells buhari who in the world is kachuku <laughs> Nigerians, this is our problem. First of all, first of all, let me put this down. I think I need my glasses for this. First of all, look, okay, I can't see with this thing. I mean, first of all, this man sent a letter to Buhari since August of this year that for the last one year, no one consulted him about awarding contracts or making appointments. And do you know that Buhari did not say anything? Father, since August, my people, what month is this? October, you're that for. <laughs> In fact, forget about making appointments. We're talking about $25 billion contract. 
A Buhari cannot acknowledge getting the letter or say anything about it or start some kind of investigation to say, eh, $25 billion contract, okay, awarded without due process. Can you imagine that the president is put him on speed dial? Yeah, welcome to this program, Mr. President. <laughs> I've not been happy with you for a long time. I'm sure you know that. Anyway, also, why would Kachiko keep quiet on something of this magnitude for a whole year? My Oga, you are welcome to this program. How can you keep quiet until contracts was $25 billion were awarded under your nose? How bad? Hey, Berolo, hey, Berolo, these people, they act as if this is their personal property. Now, the drama got interesting when Kachiku went to see Mr. President in a closed door meeting. Apparently, he was not allowed to see Buhari. <laughs> Can you imagine? Anyway, Sarah Reporters was the one that said it. Don't ask me how they know. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know how they get into Afro Rock, you know. Anyway, they found out that the man was not allowed to meet with Buhari, that he only saw Buhari's aide and the cabal. So you understand? Now, the chief of protocol allegedly told Kachiku that his younger brother is being investigated right now for collecting bribe from one woman in 2015. And I was like, hold on, hold on, like, what? Anyway, so they are saying that maybe Kachiku knows about it, but apparently Buhari in the past had asked Kachiku about this and he said he had absolutely nothing to do with it. But now they are bringing it up when Kachuku went to see Buhari at Asorok. Now, even though Kachuku was not allowed to see Buhari, that same day we saw Baru with Buhari during the Jumat prayer. And so he definitely has unhindered access to the president. Mm -hmm. And then Ruben Abati wrote an article explaining that these two men, Kachuku and Baru, had been frenemies for years. You guys know the meaning of frenemies, right? I mean, <laughs> these are people that you see each other and you laugh when you see each other, but you're enemies behind each other's back. Uh -huh. I know Khalid Owo sometimes, he just laughs when he sees me. I don't really trust him. He said these two men have had issues for years, so putting them together to work together was never going to work anyway. Later on, after abusing each other via the media, you know, Baru and Kachuku, they've been at each other's neck for weeks. Suddenly, we saw them together in a video, laughing, laughing together, and it's like, why are they laughing when we are talking about $25 billion contract unlawfully awarded? Is the joke now on us Nigerians? Seriously, because usually this is how it is. The joke is always on us Nigerians. Of course, we are always the momo in the equation. Uh, momo don't do. Ah, momo don't do. You see Nigerians, ah, momo don't do. But some of us, ah, momo never do. I beg, these two men laughing. When will somebody give us an explanation about the awarded contract? Can they tell us what is happening? And can they at least put the contract on hold until the board members do proper vetting? Nobody is talking about this unlawfully awarded contract. Awarded to cabals, but they are laughing. But most of all, I'm disappointed in Mr. President. Yes, yes, I'm disappointed. The man has been a huge disappointment by being silent on this issue. He has said nothing on the issues raised by Kachuku in the seven-page letter. Is it true that Mr. President is letting Baru award contracts without going through due process and without being vetted by the board members or any vetting by the minister at the cabal benefiting from the contract? Why is Buhari not saying anything? Buhari has refused to say anything. Instead, Mr. President wants the Senate to approve another $5.5 billion loan that we will borrow from abroad. Say you understand? You see, they said that this loan is for 2017 budget, by the way. Wait a minute. Hey, father, father. You see, you see my dilemma inside the peninsula of this photosynthesis right there. We are still borrowing money for the 2017 budget in October of 2017. Ah, Baba. Hey, hey, say you see, say you see, you must come down to Nigeria. Hey, Buhari, Buhari. How many times did I call you? Um, I thought Mr. President said he reads the news. No, so, so you cannot tell me that he's not aware that people are already saying, you know how people are, they're already saying that Buhari is silent over this Baru Kachiku issue just because Baru is a northerner. It's so obvious that Buhari's fight against corruption is evidently selective. If only Buhari can have the same passion that he has when he wants to stop Unam the Khan. You guys remember, if he can apply the same passion to all issues like this in Nigeria, things would have changed a long time ago. You guys know I don't know much. Guess what? I'm just keeping it real.